got it? Wanski pulled back now. Is that what you got? What's happening, peeps? And that was definitely the best Hope movie that they have done recently. But a lot of my subscribers want to know why haven't we got another Hulk standalone movie? Why do we keep getting all these damn Spider-Man movies? And we're going to talk about all that right now, but first. On this channel, we got to put on our plus seven glasses of Marvel sexy as hell. Because I'm working on skilling that craft, bringing you guys a life game in any situation. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. If you like any of the Marvel gear you see me wearing, check out my Amazon link. So first and foremost, Two of the top five most beloved Marvel characters are the Hulk and Spider-Man. So to answer my subscribers question, why do you see so many Spider-Mans? Because the kids love them, they sell merchandise. And to answer her second question, why have we not seen another Hulk standalone movie? Well, Mark Ruffalo did an interview and he kind of lets you know why we haven't. So take a look. I want to just make one thing perfectly clear yeah, today. A standalone Hulk movie will never happen. <laughs> Tell me why. Because Universal has the rights to, st to the standalone Hulk movie, and for some reason, they don't know how to play well with Marvel. And, and they don't want to make money. And with you as the new Hulk, it would be terrible. That's, so that's really probably that's the reason. That's probably. <laughs> we know that these corporations would work it out if they thought they'd make enough money. So, so it's I think it's about... Who's playing Hulk? Let's be but, honest. But I mean, I figure I got like two or three more years left before they, I'm too old to play the Hulk. Oh, you're and then, too and old then, now. Like, Let's be honest. honest. <laughs> you're kind of too old now. Let's just be real. But seriously, this is something that you tried to make happen, and it's just not gonna. Happen. We talked about it, but I, I just, I don't see it in the cards. Do you see it in the cards? No. <laughs> see. I can't believe he asked the question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a little cruel of him. It was. <laughs> no, that's all right. He, it's you, okay. You could see how he, he carries fine. it a lot. I, I, it it's means a lot to, to me. I mean, I really love this character. Did you great in the movie? Don't worry about a standalone thing. No, you're great I know. in these. I do my own. We, we, I do my own I thing. I know, but you're great in these. We need you in these. You too. I mean, I feel like we're like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. A little bit. That's right, there are big rights issues with Universal and Marvel coming together to do a movie. Apparently someone is thinking they're not going to make enough money, and it could be because every single one that Universal has done has sucked up until this very last one in 2008 that a lot of people don't realize catapulted the MCU as we know it. This was the first time you've seen Robert Downey Jr. was 2008's Hope. Take a look. Oh, General. He always wears his nice suits. Touche. Here you have an unusual. You should talk. You should listen. If I told you we were putting a team together. Yeah, that was that movie. That's what started this whole dynasty that we know as the MCU. And until they can figure out the universal rights issues or until the time comes when Marvel and Disney can buy back those rights, we're probably not going to get a standalone Hulk movie because I'm sure Universal wants an arm and a leg because the Hulk is hot right now. But all you're ever going to see with the Hulk is him in other people's movies until something happens with that. So if you really love the Hulk like I do and you want to see a World War Hulk movie, Folks, we're just going to have to keep waiting. He's just going to have to be in everybody else's movie that Marvel has the rights to until they can work out something with Universal. Like Mark Ruffalo said, he might only have maybe three more years of this hope. And I hope he does get a chance to do a standalone movie because he's done a great job. At first, I was a little skeptical, but he has proven his talent as being the hope. And we definitely, as fans, deserve a World War Hope saga because Hulk comes back and kicks everybody ass on the planet Earth, and we need to see that. Let's make it happen. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Leave me your life game comments on your favorite Hulk storyline of all time, whether it's TV, comic books, or the movies. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.